Carson Rudder's parents say despite being born with several medical conditions, including spina bifida, he was showing encouraging signs as he approached his first birthday. That Carson was saying mama and dad dad before this happened, that he was playing with them, that he was developing, and it's not just his mom and his dad that are going to say these things. It's not. It's in the medical records. Then Carson was operated on by Atik Durrani, a pediatric spine specialist employed by Cincinnati Children's Hospital. That was in May 2006. It's our contention, and we believe we're going to prove in this case, that Dr. Durrani invented a surgery that any reasonable physician would have and should have known was going to fail as it did and cause permanent harm to Carson Rudder. Attorneys for Durrani and Children's Hospital disputed that, saying Carson Rudder was born with several debilitating conditions that created a host of medical issues, issues Durrani tried to help. He was not a normal child. He was not a normal child in terms of his physical abilities. He was not a normal child in terms of his cognitive abilities. If anything, Dr. Durrani was one in a long line of care providers at Cincinnati Children's Hospital trying to help Carson and his family manage these conditions and manage these challenges in his life. Now, more than 500 people have filed civil suits against Durrani in the hospitals where he worked. More than 100, or about 100 of those cases, rather, are against Children's Hospital. Again, the hospital and Durrani say they did nothing wrong. Carson Rudder's mom will take the stand tomorrow. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thanks.